Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. My name is Lauren and I am the founder and owner of Closet Ecology, um, which is a secondhand clothing, primarily, uh, business. Um, and I sell my items through um, places like Poshmark and eBay and um, to bring in a nice stream of income for myself and my family. So today, um, I wanted to share with you what sold um, over the weekend. So these are my sales from Friday until Sunday evening. And um, yeah, I just thought that I would share those with you and kind of what's selling for me and like what um, dollar amount I am getting uh, for those items. So hopefully it can be helpful to you guys. Um, definitely have a lot of wins here. Um, a lot of good ASPs. ASP stands for average selling price. Um, and a lot of these items honestly were listed and sold either same day or same week or at least within the same month, which is a really good um, turnaround time uh, for your items. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with Poshmark, I think. Uh, Poshmark, I only had three sales. Um, Poshmark has not been doing super well for me. Um, I do share my closet at least once a day. Um, and I post, um, I cross post everything I post on eBay. eBay is my main platform, just an FYI. Um, but most things I do, um, cross post as long as it's within a certain dollar range. Um, but yeah, I've just not been getting that many sales, but I've been getting some decent sales. So let's start off with that. Um, the first things are these Sperry, um, these are called the Angelfish. Um, boat shoes so they've got this like metallic detail and this webbing netting whatever you want to call this mesh that's the word I'm looking for um, these sold for 15 bucks um, Sperry's are okay to pick up if you can get them for a good price obviously $15 is not a huge turnaround for a pair of shoes but it's okay they sold I listed them and they sold within a few days of listing so um, definitely the season for these shoes um, the next thing that sold on Posh is something that sold same day that I listed it. It's this absolutely gorgeous, sorry, there's a thread right there, um, seersucker striped dress from Banana Republic. So it's got this, like, I don't really know what this styling is called, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say shift dress. I don't know. Leave it down in the comments if you know what this is called, but I was nervous I wasn't going to be able to um, portray what this adequately is, but somebody did find it and it sold fast and it's got this little, um, pleated detail in the back. So cute. Banana Republic. Um, and it sold for $22. So don't sleep on Banana Republic. Um, oftentimes, especially like their career wear, which it is primarily what I would consider a career wear, career wear brand. I say that 10 times fast. Um, <laughs> but, um, a lot of their, um, dresses, outerwear, shoes, those type of things can do very well. So yeah, listed and sold same day. Um, and then the last thing that sold on Posh is this uh, Patagonia skirt. This is the, I believe the Kamala skirt is how you say it or you pronounce it. Um, this sold for $29, which is a good, um, a good sale price. So this is actually, um, <clears throat> it's convertible. So it's got these little ties here. You can actually wear this as a like halter dress. Like you can turn it and then wear it like a halter dress or so many different ways. So these are actually very popular. Um, Patagonia is definitely a bolo brand for the most part. Um, some pieces don't do super well, but like things like this can do quite well. The, the fleece pullovers and things like that obviously do very well. Um, but if you find this skirt, Definitely pick it up if it's a good price. Okay, so moving on to eBay. I have a Kipling bag. So this is actually super... I actually sold two Kipling bags this week. I sold one earlier this week. Um, people love Kipling. It's very nostalgic. It's got these, like, moth butterfly prints all over it. Um, it's a crossbody bag. This sold for 20. Um, it does not have the little monkey. If you can find the monkey or the bag with a monkey keychain on it, it's going to sell for more. People really like that little keychain. Um, so yeah, this is a great brand to sell. 
Um, next, I have this Land's End swimsuit. Um, we are definitely in the swimwear season right now, you guys. Don't sleep on swimwear. Pick it up if you find it for a good price, but always pick up the quality swimwear pieces. Um, don't just pick up the cheapo ones. Um, people really love um, to buy quality swimwear. Land's End is definitely one of those brands. Um, this one actually had the hygienic liner in it. So this was, I would consider this new without tags. It sold for $18 relatively quickly within the same week of me listing it. So yeah, definitely a good brand to pick up for swimwear. Um, the next are these bullhead shorts. You'll see that a lot of spring summer items are starting to sell for me. Um, I pick up all types of items year round. Um, if I find something that's awesome and it's the right price, I'll pick it up regardless of what season it is, but I'm really focused on spring and summer right now. Um, and it's what's selling. So these are some bullhead shorts. Bullhead, I would kind of consider to be like a junior's brand. Um, not, I would probably not pick these up again. They only sold for four bucks. <laughs> I've had these for a while too, but I'm glad to see them go. I didn't pay much for them, so I still made a profit. Um, the next item is this absolutely gorgeous. It's pulling up more blue on camera, but it's actually teal. Um, it's a tweed laser from Talbots. Talbots is a brand that I do pick up time to time. Um, it's an actually very expensive mall brand. Um, the resale isn't always the greatest, but for certain pieces, it's definitely worth it because people know the quality of it. Um, and this is definitely one of those pieces. This sold for 20. Um, was hoping to get a little bit more for it, but you know what? I was ready to just move it along. All right, next item. And a, oh, almost last clothing item is this super awesome Banana Republic again. Um, kind of career wear shell um, tank. So this is like a ponty knit, um, point ponty, however you say it, <laughs> knits on the back. And it's got this faux leather front detail. This is so cool. I couldn't leave it behind. It was really inexpensive for me to pick up. Only sold for 12 bucks, but it sold really fast within the same week of listing it. So yeah. All right, last clothing piece is a baby item. I don't pick up kids items all that much anymore just because the ROI return on investment is not the greatest and they don't move super fast for me but there's certain circumstances where I will pick them up um, one of them is this this is by magnificent baby now you might be like okay Lauren it's just a onesie but so magnificent baby um, onesies and sleepers and things like that um, which actually by the way do not call it a onesie if you are listing this you need to call this a bodysuit or a one piece or a jumper or something like that because onesie is actually a trademarked term um, that's owned by Gerber and you will get Vero'd on eBay if you use that in your listing which means that you will be put in eBay jail <laughs> and you won't be able to list items for a while. So don't do that. Anyway, so this is a one piece bodysuit. <laughs> but what makes this so special and expensive retail is that it the closure is actually magnetic. So for children uh, or parents of screaming babies, you just literally snap it on like that. And it's just easy to get it on and off really fast. So parents love these. This sold for $9.99. This sold for more than these shorts that I've had in my closet for months. Um, so not like, again, I mean, it's essentially $10. Um, not a crazy high profit, but you know what I mean? Like these always sell very fast for me. So when I find them and they're cheap enough, I will pick them up. All right. So next we are going to, well, I didn't say, I didn't transition and say what was eBay and what was posh I, or did I? I don't know guys I'm new to this I think I did I don't know I apologize <laughs> I'm all over the place so okay yeah we're definitely on eBay now <clears throat> um so I sold this little persimmon um mini disc picture from Fiesta Wear this is so cute like I could not leave it behind I only um 
I paid up a little bit for this um, at the place that I found it, the thrift store I found it. They knew exactly what it was. Um, so I just doubled my money. I knew I could double my money and relatively quickly, so I picked it up. But it is so, like, how cute is this? It's so cute. So that sold for $15. Um, the next thing that sold are these American Girl Welly Wisher rain boots. Um, I actually was hoping that these would fit my daughter, um, but they don't. So I ended up selling them instead. Um, these only sold for nine bucks. They don't sell for a whole lot, um, just FYI, but if you can find them for cheap enough, which is the theme of the video, pick it up because it'll sell. Um, last thing I'm going to show you is, oops, are these Nike super crazy looking hyperdunk basketball shoes. If I can grab them, sorry. Um, so yeah, they're super cool. Um, these only sold for 25 bucks. Um, some Nike basketball type shoes, these type of style of shoes. I'm not a sneakerhead. Please don't come at me. Oops, as I'm dropping it. Um, but I'll just hold one. Um, but some can sell for a lot and um, they just looked really cool to me. So I picked them up. They did. I did clean the bottoms of them, but they do have some rocks and some things still stuck in them. I spent enough time on them that I felt comfortable listing them as, as is. So I knew that they weren't going to be picked up by a uh, super diehard sneaker head or anything like that um so i was happy to sell them for 25 that's fine um and then the last two things are already packed up and ready to go those are some hummels that i'm selling on consignment for a friend um that's what a lot of those boxes that you see behind me are so once i photograph those i pack them up and put them away um just so it's easy for me when i am shipping to make my little my shipping process go a lot smoother so um, I'm not going to take those out of the package to show you um, so yeah two hummels sold from that so that is my weekend sales um how did your weekend go let me know down in the comments I sold I think 14 items this weekend which I was hoping to sell more than that I'm always trying to increase um, of course my sales so um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with, um, what everything's sold for. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.